Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 26. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel, uh, YouTubers Love Excel 22 to 26. Hey, and trick number 26, this is a weird little thing that happens only when you do text to column. So I'm just going to show you text to column and show you one potential problem and how to deal with it. I'm going to click in this cell, and in 2007, you go to data. Well, our goal here is we have data separated by columns, and we want to break it apart into separate cells. Now, I have just a, a little teeny small data set. Usually, you have huge data sets. But our goal is to just automatically separate USA, Switzerland, and Australia into three different cells. I'm going to go to data text to column. Now, in 2003, you have to go to data and then menu and text to column. It asks fits fixed width, which means the columns are fixed width, or delimited, which means there's some character, like a comma, separating them. Click uh, delimited and next. Then I'm going to click comma. It usually comes up as tab. You can see if I have tab, it doesn't show me. But as soon as I get rid of tab and click comma, you can it shows you a preview. And by the way, this is an awesome feature text to column because you can do other and any character can be separating. Now I'm going to click finish. Uh, do you want to click the contents? That means I have something in the cell right next to it, which I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, we're going to click OK. Now look at that. We have our Australia, Switzerland, and USA. Now one, here's the weird problem, is once you have done text to columns, it remembers. So if I put this cell into edit mode and highlight this, remember I'm not highlighting the cell, I'm highlighting the actual text from it and copy it, or go and get data from some other a comma separated uh, Word document, and you brought it back into Excel. And I'm going to click down here, and you Control V. Look what it does. It, it remembers that it thinks you always want to do um, text to column from now on. So if you've done text to column a lot, you've seen this problem. The way to deal with it is if you really want to, uh, you have something highlighted. There's two ways to to stop it. One is when you click in the cell and you really want it to actually dump the, the commas and everything into one cell, hit F2 to put it into edit mode, and then Control V, and it will put it in. Or you have to save. And by the way, this compatibility checker is not to worry. You should always read it, and it tells you what elements in uh, 2007 are incompatible with 2003 and earlier versions. Usually it's just styles. If it says something about functions, then those functions will not work if you're using 2003. I'm going to click Continue. Now I'm going to close this. And now when I open it back up, if I were to copy and paste, Now, if I were to open it back up after uh, I've saved it, I've closed Excel completely. Now, if I try that same little trick, copy, enter, and then Control V, it doesn't do text to column. So there's two ways. When you run into that problem, you either put it into edit mode and paste, or of course, when you save it, close it, and the next time you open up your Excel, it doesn't remember that you want to do text to column. All right, we'll see you next. YouTuber love Excel.